three young men that is going to give us a, their personal presentations on black men that made a difference. Yes? yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. And the first person we have is our lovely brother Jason. Coming to us.
video was first celebrated in 1986 and in all 50 states in the year 2000, I had a dream. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted and every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be plain and the crooked places will be made straight and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, revealed and all flesh shall see it together. All Martin Luther King wanted was for equality, equality and freedom. For all. Thank you, family. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I told you that you're gonna have that yeah, young man speaking today, yes? Yeah. He's a young man coming up, yes? Praise the Lord. Yeah. It's a train of the child saying so his ways that he will never stray, yes? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Praise, the Praise the Lord. Next we'll have our um, Brother Marquise coming to give his, his um, man his presentation yeah. on the man, black man that made a difference. Yes? yes. Give Brother Marquise a round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. Give Brother Marquise a round of applause. Praise the Lord. Yeah. These are 10 facts about Frederick Douglass. 
We are going good so far. We are going good. We have our last presentation. Yes. This is my godson, guys. So yes. we're gonna pick him up a little bit, yeah. Yes. This is my godson. This is brother Darius. Yeah, come, brother Darius. Acknowledge my Lord who is ahead of my life. Yeah. And pleasant good morning to Queen Esther, Mother Angela, Teacher Rhonda, oh, yeah. Teacher Nodia, Brother David, Pastor Lambert, and Leader, Leader Michael. Yeah. And to everyone in their respective offices. Yeah. And to the faith and pleasant good morning afternoon. Yeah. Okay, so Osborne Dorsey was born on 1862, September 19th. So as he grew, his parents became slaves in a white people town. When Osborne Dorsey was 10 years old, he had no choice to become a slave. And at the age 15, he was lashed by a whip tail when he was cleaning the house. When Osborne Dorsey was minding his own business, he was kidnapped by white people and forced him to make doorknobs. And as you know, he was the creator of doorknobs and made like and and helped people like get in the doors and they have, because they have to climb through the window. So he was kidnapped by white people and forced him to make doorknobs to help to help people because they had trouble entering the doors and had to climb windows. The reason why they chose Osborne Dorsey was because he was an expert, expert, expert as building and making things. So after Osborne made the doorknobs, he decided to help the community make door stops so other people can get in their homes. As he made more doorknobs, he became better and faster at making them. He developed the doorknobs, gold, silver, and many other fancy and different styles. That's it. Yes, I told you I would get three good men, the dynamic men, right? Yes. We were talking about black men that made a difference, yes? yes? Yes, today's Men's Day, and we have the young ones doing really well, doing really well, doing really well. I'm very much proud of them. That's my godson, joking too. That's my godson. Praise the Lord. Just welcoming everybody who just came in. Um, right now we will get a word. Yes? Yes. Don't, despite all we're doing and yelling, without a word, we can't carry on. Yes? yes. We don't have equipment to carry on. Yes? yes? So, we need a word. So, right now we will have um, Deacon E. Banks to come and introduce the speaker for today. Yes? Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Numbers, but we are still here. Yeah. Give him that thanks, give him that thanks. This morning I just want to greet the Holy Spirit that goes the head and keep of my life. And then I want to greet the Queen of this house, Teacher Nardi. I might not know all the names, but I just want to greet you all, lovely people in the 
the one named Christ Jesus, Amen. the one who caused us to be here this morning. Amen. And I just want to tell everyone that God is good all the time, despite of what we are going through. Yes. No matter the circumstances, Amen. we are still here and God is just being wonderful and good to us. Amen. So this morning, I wasn't prepared, but my pastor would always say I must struggle with a word. <laughs> so this morning, um, we, we were at another church last night and he said, um, Deacon, I need you to, you know, accompany me to another church this morning. Didn't even know where I was going. I just said, yes, Pastor, I am here. I'm ready. So this morning, you know, I, I traveled with him. And then when I realized, when I keep on hearing the GPS saying something, say, that's all somewhere for me like that we've been before. And then, you know, when he said, um, he started probably say, all right. Queen Esther. <laughs> so, you know, this morning, I just want to thank God for, you know, what he's doing in my life. And, you know, we just want to acknowledge God for his presence that he could allow us to be here this morning for this celebration or thanksgiving as i said i wasn't prepared but i still gonna come and acknowledge god presence that is good to us so this morning i travel with kemar lambert which is my leader we call him the one general and um <laughs> he's here to bring a word and uh, we just want to pray up his strength and acknowledge God for everything that he's doing in his life. Amen. So without no further ado, I just want to introduce the man of God to the house, Pastor Kemar Lambert. Receive him in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm a pilgrim and a stranger to a phantom. Me is the road of telling the means of danger, but my father knows soon my journey will be in me. Life is drawing to a close. I shall never be well attended. Who is my father known? Come and shout hallelujah. Amen. First, I want to give greetings to the God of my life. Yes. Amen. The, and the God of this ministry, I believe. Amen. The one who allows us to be here this morning. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Then to the lady, amen, of this house, Queen, amen, Esther. Yes. Amen. A, a woman that I admire for her humbleness. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Teach an audience. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Teach over here. And all you, amen. Clerk, amen. And all you wonderful people of God, amen. I know you by face um, and the name, but amen. We are one in the body of Christ. Amen. Deacon Evans, who journeyed me to be here, amen. And to praise God, Brother Michael, who sees we have been doing a couple missions together. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. We are 
I, I, I keep seeing Brother Michael. Everywhere I have a mission, Brother Michael is there. So I guess we are, out of, we are all on the same schedule. Praise the name of Jesus. Worship the Lord. Amen. But I am happy to be here this morning. Amen. To share a word with you. Amen. I really, amen, admire my little sister over there. Amen. The other night I was by teach, uh, teacher Laura. Amen. And she invites me to her Thanksgiving. Amen. I'm like, I have to be here. I'm going to try and be here. But I, like, I don't know the time. I don't even know the time, but I'm going to get there. But then teacher Nadia called me and she invites me also. Praise the Lord. So everything works together. Praise the name of Jesus. I worship the name of Jesus. Amen. And one thing I love about this ministry is that I love and copy that the young people, amen, the children are active in ministry. Amen. And I, and I said I copied that. I make sure I went home and I said to you, President, I said, make sure that we have the little kids taking part in service. It doesn't matter how simple it is. Please make sure that they are taking part. Because most time we do forget them in the service. We just have them, they dress up, they look nice, but they're not taking part. Amen. And I really admire that about how Amen. Amen. Today, amen. The team is speaking about the man in the mirror. Amen. When I look at the man in the mirror, amen, it's about me. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. So I can speak of you or your situation. But when I look in the mirror, amen, I'm happy that there's a mirror here. Amen. So when you look in the mirror, your, your reflection is of yourself. Praise the name of Jesus. So it's a day to examine yourself. Amen. And leave others that are around you. Praise the name of Jesus. Or worship the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm just going to ask everybody just to stand to your feet. Amen. As I whisper a word of prayer. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because He first loved me. Excellent is your name in all the earth. God, as I, your servant, was asked to deliver a word to your people. Lord, let self be slain. Oh God, let self be crucified. Lord, remove Pastor Lambert. Amen. And God, you speak right now. Amen. Father God, I pray that when I leave from this pulpit, when I leave from in front of your people, God, I pray that somebody will have clarification. I pray that somebody, man, will be renewed and be transformed in Jesus' almighty name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Today the team is speaking about, amen, the man in the mirror. Amen. Amen. And when I look at this team, it bring me to start looking at myself. Amen? So before I could encourage you on this team, I have to look at myself. Or oh, praise the name of Jesus. To see where you stand. Where are you? Because it's a personal team. Or oh, praise the name of Jesus. So we will quit to take the team and we will point finger to say, you look at yourself. Amen? But I have to look at myself. Amen. To see if I am even worthy enough to tell somebody to examine their self. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Because most times we forget about the man in the mirror, which is the most, most important thing. Amen. Amen. Paul in the book of Corinthians, amen, 11 and 28. 
He said, but let a man examine himself. Amen. And let him eat, amen, the, of that bread and drink of that cup. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. So I cannot tell you if you are worthy. Amen. amen. And I cannot tell you that you are not worthy. Amen. But Brother Paul encourages us that you have to encourage and you have to examine yourself. Amen. Or worship the name of Jesus. Amen. So many times as believers, amen, we now start to look at somebody else. And I will look at your faults. And I will see your mistakes. And I will see your problem. That I, I, I think yeah. it's a problem. Yeah. I just think something about you. Yeah. I just start to imagine something about you. Because you might not be my favorite. And then we just start to talk all manner of evil. And then we just the mirror focus on that person. And everybody else in church. We now point the finger to say. Teach and Pastor Lambert. And, and they act like they're all that. And we, we are all the nice stuff to say. We know we are spiritual people. We use those words. Amen. Amen. But let us today forget about everybody else who we normally pay attention to. And just take a reflection and look at ourselves. Where are you standing right now? Uh, are you ready if God should put in his appearance? Are you living right? Are you walking worthy in the sight of God? Do you love your brother and your sister? When last did you tell somebody... I forgive you. When last did he even say, I am sorry? When last did he even hear somebody say something about you and don't try to defend it? Yes, yes. Amen? Amen? So when you know the man who is in the mirror, here's what somebody else has to say about you, Queen Esther. You don't have to defend it. Because you know who is in the mirror. Yeah. Hey, praise the name of Jesus. So we defend most time and try to get back at what people say because we don't know who is in the mirror. Amen. Amen. Amen? So we have to go prove a point. Yes. To ensure that who is speaking about you knowing that we're trying to change their word. Don't try to change it because the word may never change. Amen. But try to change you. Amen. 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 Try to change you. Because the thing about believers, I don't know about out in the world, right? Because I've been saved since I was nine. I've never been to a club. I've never smoked in my entire life. I've never drank every snack, communion wine. I've never gone to a party in my entire life. Praise the name of Jesus. The only life I know is church. Praise the Lord. If it's not a bird night party, probably sometimes I even turn it down on whatever party. Because some bird night party turned out to be a matter party. Praise the Lord. So some party I said, uh, no, it's in a gift, but I won't show up. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. So I can't tell you about out in the world, but I could tell you about in the church. Amen. I could talk about the church that I know since age nine. Amen. Doesn't matter the faith because I got baptized in Pentecostal. Amen. So I could be Pentecostal, could if I want to. Amen. But my calling was the spiritual faith. Praise the name of Jesus. And I love the spiritual church. But one thing about us really, oh God, we kill ourselves. We kill others. Real, real fast. Real fast. It don't take nothing to just write out Pastor Lambert. Oh, you hear him there? You know, we start to say. But today, let us forget about all that. Don't focus on anybody. As Paul said, you have to examine yourself. Because to drink of the cup and to eat of the bread, you have to be worthy. But nobody can tell you that you are not worthy. And neither anybody can tell you that you are worthy. You have to know within yourself, are you worthy enough to take a sip of the cup? Hallelujah. Are you walking right enough to take a bite of the bread? Now, last night I went to a service and it was first seed. And I, tell, I said to the congregation that our first seed might be a, a good paycheck, it might look nice, that we lay to the church, give to the church. But if your heart is not right, that seed makes no sense. Because the Bible said that you leave that gift there at the altar, 
go and make it right with your brother yes. and then you come back yes. or praise the name of jesus yes. and present it or praise the name of jesus but when you lay that offering there nobody can tell you if you're right or not only god yes so you have to know from inside if you are ready and upright enough to present that gift or praise the name of jesus so in whatever we are doing in our daily christian life we have to be living right because not even our offering of praises sometimes will be accepted in the sight of god we will do it all day long we will jump long oh i know zion i know i know, I know about zion we will jump all day long for hours but if there's no love, we jump in vain. Amen. You just get tired in vain. Hallelujah. If there's no unforgiveness in you, yes. if there's no brotherly, sisterly love in you, yes. it, you did it all in vain. Yes. And the Bible said, what it profit you to rise early and to sit up late and still heed the bread of sorrow. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh, worship the name of Jesus. Believers, in Psalms 139 and verse 23, is David said, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. See if there is any ways in me that is not of you. Amen. That God, you may just remove it now because I am looking at the man in the mirror. Yeah. I cannot focus on nothing else but God. Try me. Yeah. Examine me now, Father. See if I am worthy enough to speak to anybody else. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's the main thing. We have to make sure that we, this carnal man in the flesh here, I, Pastor Lambert, it has to be individual. It has to be personal. Are you ready? Are you at the place? Hallelujah. When last did you walk over to somebody that done you wrong and tell them that you're sorry? Knowing that that person done you wrong, you didn't do them anything. But you said, I'm sorry, just to make sure that your conscience is free. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. I went to a church the other day and I heard somebody said that, Oh, don't play with Baptists, they will fight you right in the church. <laughs> right? And, 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 and that was said by another Baptist. So I said, That's okay, I'm not, I'm not fearful because the Zion will do it too. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. I'm not going to let it seem like we're so sanctified over in Zion because, yeah, revival is if you touch some of them real too. Hard and they determined they'll pull it off. Yeah. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. So it's the same thing. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. But at the end of the day, who do the fighting have to talk to God for themselves? Oh, praise the Lord. Who do all the mess in the church have to talk to God for themselves? Likewise, me and you have to talk to God for ourselves. Because when God comes and all the teaching that Queen Esther did and all the, the, the preaching, if you didn't take heed, that can't save you. If you didn't practice and try to change what she was trying to invest in you, something wrong. But when she go to God, it's going to be for herself. Amen. So you have to look at the man in the mirror. Are you walking worthy? Is there love in your heart? And believe me, Christian believers, these days, we don't have love. That I walk past the saints of Queen House of Esther Divine Ministries because they are not a part of our room, so I don't need to greet them. We do that. Everybody's so quiet like this, true? Yes. Yes. Real, real, real quick. Yes. I said, Deacon, he bangs over there, his shirt in the back, have a boss. Yes. 
and I don't know who he have to make that shirt because he didn't make properly. Yes. And we start to see all the nice things. But instead of pulling him to the side and say, hey, I have some safety pin in the back, let me help you out. Hello? So in the days of when I was going to church in Jamaica, I used to get barrel from America. Like my grandmother was here, so we get barrel a lot, right? We know about selling barrels back home. Yes. Amen. So when I get barrels, I normally get church clothes, right? So for me, I, I get a lot of church clothes. So for my brothers in church who are not getting barrels, I will share my stuff, but not share for you to take. We will just, if you wear it, you wash it, you bring it back to me. <laughs> and I will wear it when I need it. Yes. And if you need it again to match your shoes, I have it, but make sure that you clean it and return it so that somebody else could use yes. it. But we're not doing that these days. Yes. If you wear my stuff, I'm not going to wear that. Because yes. first off, I don't know what spirit you may put in there. Yes. Yes. So I don't want it back. Yes. And if I do take it back, I'm going to make sure that I get a bottle of Florida water, some 47 Eleven, and I'll make sure I wash it real good. Or maybe I have to put it in the morning room and chant a little bit. <laughs> Before I wear it back, right? Is that him doing too so I could tell you? Amen. But let us look at the man in the mirror. Is there anything in you that represents Christ? If somebody meets you at the store, can they identify that you're a believer of the faith out of your uniform? Yes. Can anybody identify you on the job that you're a believer? Do you stand to proclaim the name of Jesus in and out of the garments? Yes. Because sometimes we only examine ourselves on the Sunday morning to make sure we turn on our head right and that we wrap up nice and have on the right garment to ensure that our teach won't tell me that I'm not wearing the proper apron. But are you walking right on the outside? Have you ever feel proud enough to invite somebody that is not a part of the spiritual Baptist faith to church? Yes. Yes. You know some of us are not so proud of our faith? Yes. That not sound too good, right? I, wi I don't know about spiritual Baptist, but I could tell you about Zion. I witness people that they will get to church and when they get to church, they go in the bathroom and in the basement and put the turban on because I don't want nobody on the street to see me in the turban. I used to do too. Nobody could get me wear a uniform. I wear a jacket suit every day to church. And if you know me when I just start to come around the spiritual Baptist, you will never see me wear a uniform, right, Teacher Nolia? Yes. I always have a suit and tie on because I'm such a Pentecostal. <laughs> right? So some of us, it's not that I'm not proud, but sometimes it's like we, we don't want to accept who we really are. Yes. So we try to fit in somewhere else. Yes. Just to feel a part of. But examine yourself. Brother David said to God, I want you now to search me. Search me. Hallelujah. Peter walked over to Jesus and, and Jesus said, ask him a question. And he started to say, some say that you are this, some say that you are that, and some call you the prophet, and some call you Elias. And he started to tell Jesus what everybody say that Jesus is. But he didn't realize that Jesus trying to get, hello Peter, what do you say that I am? Amen. Hallelujah. So it's a personal thing. I don't want to hear what nobody else has to say now, Peter. You've been walking with me for too long to be telling me what do people say. And tell me what do you say. So examine yourself now, Peter. Do you believe me or not? Because flesh and blood could not have revealed it. It must be the Holy Spirit that is lives inside of you. And if there's Holy Spirit in you, when you look in the mirror, you will see what the Holy Spirit wants you to be. Amen. 
Anybody ever dressed yet and you feel so uncomfortable yes. that you have to take off what you're wearing and put on what the real spirit wants you to wear? Yes. Yes. Sometimes you look so nice and dandy and the spirit yeah. said, no, 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 not today. Yeah. You have to make sure you put on that apron that you get in the morning room yes. and wear that. Hello? Yes. Yes. So true. That's what the spirit wants you to wear. So once you look in the mirror, you will see what God wants you to be. Yes. Anybody ever ask God, God, what do you really want me to be? What did you have me here for? What is my purpose? Hallelujah. What is my purpose? Why am I here on earth anyway? Amen. Ask God your purpose. Because some of us really don't know our purpose. And what we think our purpose is, really, that's not what it is. My ambition was really, 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 really to become a medical doctor. I really wanted to become a medical doctor. So I started in healthcare, and I think I was going to go on and on and on and on. But I think God had something else for me. Praise the name of Jesus. We are when Upper Room started, I was a part of a ministry, and then I'm talking about, now we're still talking about the team, look at the man in the mirror. So I was a part of a ministry, and I was always bothered in my spirit about the leader the leader would always drive my spirit crazy excuse my language because when i go to a church and it's all about money 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 it makes my spirit get something is wrong because i i know the money is very important but that's not the only thing in church so that drive me crazy to the point i i leave church i didn't leave god but I didn't have a home church. So I would visit church here, there, and everywhere. And then I realized that people keep coming on board. Like everybody keep leaving that same church. And people leaving their church and coming to... And little Minister Lambert don't even have nowhere to put people. So I said, God, what is this? I said, no, it's not church because I'm not doing this. I have two jobs. I'm making good money. And one of my jobs, I make just two, three days and I make $900. So I'm not leaving my job to go run no church. I tell God that straight up. I'm not doing it. First off, where am I going to put church people? I don't have no way. I don't have no building. I don't have no nothing. So I started a prior group. And from the prior group, believe me, upper room came. And it was struggle. It was a struggle. Just look at the man in the mirror. I'm looking at myself to be what I want to be. So it was a struggle for the church. And they said, you know what, God, it's not going to work out. So I leave that. They did the group. I did everything. And I, I go up with my business because I love healthcare and I want to work. So you know what God did? God allowed me to just one incident and I lost both of my jobs. Both of my jobs. So one job gave me like $900 just to work three nights. And I'm working as a full-time at my other job. So just imagine. And I have my bills to pay, I have car notes, you name it. And I lost both jobs. But guess what? When I lost the job, the, 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 the church of God started to grow. I said, what God mean? Uh, God, you're talking to me. I lost my job. I can't pay my bills. But then we find a building for the church. We don't have a chair, we don't have one chair, but yet still one day I show up and I have 120 chairs. Brand new. I don't have a job. But that's what God is showing me that listen, it's not what you want, but look at the man in the mirror of what I want you to be. And listen, saints of God, listen, young people. I never go back to church until after open room is fully open, blessed with everything that we are in need of. Then God released me back into my job. And I now have an option of going back to both or take just one. So it seems like God punished me for a reason because I didn't lose, I didn't lose them. He just took them away from me for a moment. So you know the union protect your job, so my job is still there until that process is over after when upper room come to where God wanted to be. 
and I have all the time to be up and down in the city to register the church, to get all my proper documentation, to make sure that everything is fine, and as soon as that is done, then I walk back into my job scratchless, that nothing happened. That's God. So it's not what you want to be. It's what God wants you to be. And whatever God wants to be, you don't fight to get it. Hello? You don't fight to get what God wants you to be. It just happened. It just it just fall in your hands. And you cannot explain how it is. You just have to say, saints, it's the blessings of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Psalms 119 and verse 59. David said, I consider my ways and turn my feet. Amen? Amen. I consider my ways. Anybody consider your ways? That's what today is. The mind in the mirror. So you have to think of yourself. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Consider yourself. Instead of looking at somebody else, where are you now? Do you think you're at the place where God really wants you to be? Are you at the place where you're supposed to be? Or are you just doing this because of the motions? Can God depend on you? Or if your leader rebuke you, you might give church a couple months well off. Because sometimes we just take vacation if, if, if we get rebuked. And you know, especially if we're a, a, a member that the church really strongly depend on, I'm going to make sure it's yes. I'm going to hold the church hostage. I'm not coming in for four months straight. And I'm going to see who's going to sing and who's going to start service and who's going to clean the church because she 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 rude yes. <laughs> and i'm gonna make sure i stay home for a while and if i do go to church i'm gonna go late 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 so whatever i was supposed to do i already passed already yes. hello church some of us do that just, just be honest Wait, yeah. i deal with it too I have some people in the upper room that they're very strong yeah. and if I rebuke them, they, I might get the face well long. I say, listen, okay now guess what? Pastor Lambert do everything. I sing, I clean, I do everything. So if you think that you're going to punish me, I'm going to go and I'm going to sing, praise and worship. I'm going to lead testimony. I'm going to preach. I'm going to moderate. And I'm going to clean the church with a man. Because I'm going to rebuke you. Hallelujah. Amen. So I reviewed one lady that cleaned the church and she said, oh, I, I'm going to come and drop off the key. I said, no, you don't have to drop off the key. I'm going to clean the church myself yes. because I have a key. Amen. And when I finish cleaning the church and I'm shutting down, I see you coming. I said, we're coming to the key. I said, no, I finished cleaning already. Uh -huh. And I did everything, including cleaning the bathroom too. Uh -huh. Everything. Yes. Take off the broom, I brush, I do everything. I go on the pulpit, I go on my knees, and I clean, I do everything that needs to get done. Because not because you get rebuked, rebu mean you could hold the church hostage. And some of us do that. And we boast about it too. And say, so let me see who she's going to depend on now. Because teacher know you're wrong and, 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 and she know that she's wrong but because uh, she family. Yes. Can I say like that? Yes. And she, uh, 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 she give me the wrong. Say, so you know what? Uh, let me keep myself away for a good minute. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Right. Good. Look at the man in the mirror. Yeah. Sometimes we have to check our attitude, you know? That's right. That's right. Check our attitude. Our attitude sometimes yes. not right. Yes. It's very messy. Yes. 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 Not good. Yes. Yes. We, we our chest get real fast. Yes. It's okay, then fix your face and come back. Go in the bathroom, wash yes. your face and come back and get ready for church again. Yes. yes. Look at the man in the mirror. If you're too easily provoked and puffed up, you have to check your spirit. Because as believers, you have to develop some skin like a turkle, very tough. 
You can't be believers and have some thin skin because if you're gonna go on the byways and edges and wave it to some people, they're gonna tell your girl that we're in the turban, don't talk to me because your clothes look old. And you can't get thin skin for that. People come to Oprah, not coming back because this shirt work Obia. We get that too. Yes. Because we're not Pentecostal that we might that we might do a little jumping and thing. So you can't be thin skin. If you're looking at a man in the mirror and you're disrespectful, you might have to take something away. You have to take that away from the man in the mirror. Yes. Because when you look at the man in the mirror, you're now going to work on the man in the mirror. How you going to dress the man that is in the mirror? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Nehemiah was building a wall. Because the wall trouble his spirit because that's where he's from yes. and he feel bad that the wall is not there no more yes. so he went back and he started to build the wall but guess what he was discouraged by Sambalat and Tobias the church of God say that a lot right that Sambalat discouraged him Tobias discouraged him but do you know that there was Judas that discouraged him also that is a part of his team anybody know that if you read it well you'll see that a part, a, a one of his own team players now discourage him. It doesn't make no sense to go in front of because it's not going anywhere. Yes, yes, yes. So when you check the man in the mirror, that sometimes you know start to discourage yourself. Amen. Amen. How many of us discourage yourself? Yes. It doesn't make no sense to apply for this job because I'm not qualified. Mm. I don't, I don't have what it takes for me to apply for this job. We, we, don't, we don't look at ourselves as worthy. You don't look at yourself as kings and queens. Yeah. You look at yourself as servants and slaves. Yeah. When, when you look in the mirror, you should see royalty. royalty. Amen. You should see holy nation. Amen. You should see peculiar. 